Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this casted game for Age of Empires 4 and today on the west side of the map we've got Beastie Cutie playing in pink as the Holy Roman Empire. On the east side of the map we have got Eric playing in orange as the Rus. The map is Ancient Spires and well we're going to take a very close look at this matchup because the Holy Roman Empire recently have been dubbed one of the best civilizations of the recent patch. And well when you've got Beastie Cutie playing them as well that's going to be a tough mountain to climb for Eric that is for sure. Because of course, Beastie Cutie absolutely loves the Holy Roman Empire and he plays them a lot, has a fantastic win rate with them. And uh, we shall see how he plays this one on Ancient Spires. Going to go for the Dock and the uh, Shorefish. We see him uh, do this quite often on the Rack Ladder and I wanted to showcase one of these games for you. Will this be a game in which the Holy Roman Empire can be stopped? It's such a tough task these days uh, with how fast they can just skip over to the Feudal Age and then the Castle Age and then even the Imperial Age at times. But we will see Eric have a stab at it, playing an orange as the Roos. Holy moly, he's going to get a lot of wolves here. Going to get that bounty up big time. Let's just take a look at the bounty level at the moment. Already 105, and that's going to be boosted really quickly. Uh, these scouts doing very good work on Ancient Spires here today. And you can see that bounty really stacking up. Already 280 gold. He'd be able to actually afford a uh, wheelbarrow, but he hasn't got the hunting cabin because, of course, he went for the dock early. And uh, the, the hunting cabin, you can't afford both really at the same time. So he probably will be saving up for that hunting cabin and then uh, getting wheelbarrow relatively soon. But he's got plenty of gold to get him up to the feudal age, which is uh, fantastic at the moment. Already 230 bounty. Holy smokes. He could kill a few sheep here. And he'd actually have enough for tier two. Holy Roman Empire played by Beastie on the west side. He's uh, just fishing away, getting up to that feudal age relatively soon. He's just uh, getting the food eco. Rocking and rolling. Of course, now with Ancient Spires, compared to other open maps, you will be delayed to that feudal age. That's just the nature of the map, because you'll be going to wood first and then going to the fishing ships. But once these guys pay themselves back, that food economy really does start to get rolling. Uh, the fish clearly are a very good source of food on Ancient Spires and in Age of Empires 4. Now, looking at the Ancient Spires spawn, pretty even for both players, has to be said. Nice pond here. Now, one thing we have to think about with the Holy Roman Empire is their fast castle time and the resources, in particular wood. One thing that's a bit of a concern is that the wood is on the front of the map in terms of his base. So that's an issue. It would have been nicer for him to have had a back wood line. He does have this one in the corner. If we could wall up to the edge of the map, that could be helpful. The reason why this is such a problem is because, of course, when you're facing up against the Holy Roman Empire, you want to be aggressive. And uh, if you can be aggressive and deny the wood, that could be a key thing because, of course, they'll need wood for spearmen. Of course, the main cost involved in spearmen is food, but the Holy Roman Empire typically lack that wood just to be able to get up to the next stage because the food and gold is the resources that's needed. But we do see Beastie having a very nicely balanced economy overall, and he is getting quite a lot of wood, obviously, because of this map, in particular Angel Spires, so he can fund those fishing ships. Eric himself. Let's take a look at the uh, strategy he's going after. He's going for the Golden Gate, as expected. He's got the Wooden Fortress. Now, the Wood Income will be pretty strong here. I suspect he's got Wheelbarrow as well. It's coming in at the moment. Now, the Wooden Fortress for the Roos means that the Lumber Camps return 20% more wood. He's got Wheelbarrow coming in, and he might even be able to squeeze in double broad axe once Feudal Age kicks in. The Hunting Cabin itself is giving him 27 gold per minute passively. Of course, Beastie going up with the Ark and Chapel in a nice spot. Should be able to influence the gold villagers just about. Uh, the wood villagers just about once they deposit. In fact, it'll be getting half and half, really. And, uh, of course, the sheep here being taken underneath the town centre. That'll all be inspired. Now, the prelate does incredible work here. Does boost the villagers by 40%. That's incredible. 40% gather speed boost there using the Predator. And the Predator's going to go over to the Arkham Chapel. It's going to go inside, get all snug and cosy, make himself home in the Arkham Chapel. There is that feudal age uptime for BCQT. Look at the food count already. 600 is insane. The food income that these guys can get with the boosting of the Prelate is pretty spectacular. Will we see a fast castle? I suspect that will be the case. Let's just see what Eric is going to be doing about this. Will he be getting any production buildings out soon? Maybe an arch range, maybe a stable for some early nights. But certainly the pressure will be on. He'll need to do some something about this. Could he be looking to get a second town centre using the Golden Gate, buying two tickets of stone? 
and then using the wood and he does he's floating quite a bit of wood you know he's a pro player so you wouldn't normally see this amount of wood be uh wood being um saved up here i suspect it'll be two towns center opening once he gets that second ticket from the golden ticket from the golden gate but that 400 wood two towns center opening versus the holy roman empire that could be really interesting and uh really i don't know it's a little bit not passive yeah i guess passive is the word Usually we expect to be going up against the Holy Roman Empire and you need to be aggressive, but looks like Eric's going to be doubling down with a second town center. Yes, indeed, he is getting that stone. He's bought one batch of stone already, 150 stone there. Uh, is he sending any villagers forward for fortress rushing? Nope. Well, I'll take that back. Where are these guys going? I think these villagers are probably going for the second town center. He knows that he can have a decent amount of map control, for now at least. Maybe he's going towards the deer... Building a hunting cabin. Okay, yeah, just gonna gather some food, Eco. Beastie already up, going up with the Regulus Cathedral. He's gonna get there in about eight minutes and he's gonna be able to get a lot of the relics, but it does appear. Is it the second town center? Yeah, it will be the second town center, you can see already. He's gonna go on that gold there, the forward gold. For well, that second town center. So I, I believe Eric's strategy here is gonna be maintaining a heavy, heavy feudal age presence. He's gonna be in feudal age for a very long time. And uh, he's going to need to try and mount a really good pressure with, with some early knights and archers. Everything you can get in the feudal age to try and delay Beastie Cutie's imperial age. Try and deny the relics if you can. Two scouts there looking to, to take out this prelate. Doing some damage there. But there is a scout there from Beastie trying to help that prelate out. Will it be enough? Um, possibly. Well, she'll keep an eye on that in just a second. But the second town center is going up now for Eric. And uh, we'll be able to keep that economy rocking and rolling. But look, guys, when you think of the Holy Roman Empire and the village account. Okay, we're going to compare the village account, right? 36 to 39. But don't forget, all 36 of these villages, or maybe not all of them, but a vast majority of them are being boosted. So it's like 40% speed on gathering. So it's like the total village account and then add another 40% of that, which is absolutely ridiculous when you think about it. The eco bonus is so, so big. Bit of a wallalo going off there for Beastie. He wants to try and get those scouts. Won't be able to. The scouts probably will start to focus on the prelate after they take care of the scout. Oh, Eric will need to micro this. He won't want to lose that scout. He will indeed. Oh, he just manages to micro that. That's incredible micro there. Three HP on that guy left. And uh, Eric is known for his micro. So we shall see if that pays off in this game. Fishing ships almost done with the shorefish there. Probably will be deleting those fishing boats once they're done. So we do see some relics being brought in now for Beastie. That's going to be a massive amount of gold income. I think this prelate will be stopped. Yep, the two scouts will take care of that prelate, but the relic is getting closer and closer to Beastie Cutie's base. There are some early knights on the field for the Roos, and the village account will be starting to climb up here for Eric. 46 versus 39, but still he'll technically be behind on his economy because of these two relics in particular. 300 gold per minute. And don't forget the uh, the Arca Chapel doing so much work here. He's going to be looking to try and wall this up. Two scouts looking to try and deny that, perhaps. Will we see any early knights creeping through? There is one early knight coming through now. Being led back home to Beastie's base by that scout. There is the Age Up Gong for Beastie Cutie. Holy smokes, is he going to the Imperial Age? I suspect he will be. Yeah, he's going up with the Palace of Swabia. Only 10 minutes, guys, on the clock, and he's just about clicking up to the next stage. As we know, HRE, I said this before at the beginning of the game, they're a little bit crazy like this. But the early night will keep that wall open. This is quite significant, as we discussed earlier in the game. The wood situation is a bit precarious for the Holy Roman Empire. The only way to stop them, really, is, I guess, is the map gen, because if you had the wood back here, it'd probably be fine. Uh, interesting that Beastie Cutie didn't put the Palace of Swabia on the uh, wood line, the place to be protected. I suspect that's obviously very calculated, but it would have been interesting if the Palace of Swabia was here, per, for instance, on the wood line and the gold. Because um, wood's going to be the issue, I think. Now, these early knights taking quite a bit of damage, but it must be having the upgrade, the Iron Under Mesh upgrade there. I suspect it will be. Oh, is it? Hey, it hasn't actually. Wow, these early knights do actually pack up. They're pretty tanky. Didn't even have the Iron Under Mesh upgrade. And uh, there is the Imperial Age. So it's Imperial Age versus Feudal Age. Ah, guys, what do we even say about that? That's just a little bit bonkers, isn't it? But Village Account now looking strong here for Eric. 60 versus 43. And uh, Beastie Cutie looking to wall this up. It probably will get that wall up in time. Spearmen coming out now. Now that is in the Imperial Age, these spearmen will be strong, especially if he upgrades them. Uh, hasn't upgraded them just yet, but does have that barracks and he's working on it. 
He's working to make them hardened spearmen. Now they're on the right just to keep an eye on things. So Wallalo going on. Looking to try and get two knights. It'd be pretty impressive if he does manage it. Spearmen looking to get some damage. But uh, the Predator actually dies. A charge attack goes off. They're actually a decent number of knights. They're taking a cost-effective fight. Um, and we're taking out the spearmen. Quite a lot of knights here, guys. One knight being sent home. Kind of weak there. And this is a problem. You see, wood is lacking here. Let's take a look at Beastie point of view. 38 wood. This is what we discussed right at the beginning of the game. You need to cut off the wood supply. Because if you cut off wood, spearmen can't be produced. Uh, even though it only costs them 20 wood, it's not a lot. But if you can constantly cut off the supply of wood, it's really important. Village account 50 versus 65. So the Palace of Swabia catching things up for Beast QT, that's for sure. Knight's going to get a charge attack on that villager. Not direct hit. Might be able to pick off one villager. It does indeed. The issue here for Eric really is not so much killing villagers because the Palace of Swabia will be able to print them. I suspect it's going to be more about denying key resources and you can see it's going to be the wood. Love to see some wooden fortresses coming forward for Eric if he could. But let's just see if that's, if that's what he decides to do. Triple stable knights going full knights here. Going to be raiding as much as he can. Does get caught out by the couple of spearmen there. The spearmen numbers are starting to build up for Beastie. Again, look, trying to get that wood. He isn't able to really. Uh, but the thing is for Beastie is that he could just trade for it because he's got these 700 gold. He's got the gold income coming from the Regnitz Cathedral. He's actually going to move over to that backward line. We discussed this possibility here. That backward line could be key. The knights are just running around in the base. Going to try and break out the gate and break that down so he can have a free passageway in. It is still Imperial Age versus Feudal Age. Will Eric be able to put a spanner on the works? Can he stop Beastie's Holy Roman Empire? Which is an incredibly strong combination. I think Beastie with Holy Roman Empire. It's a little bit crazy at times. There's the charge attack going off. Picking off one villager. Possibly a second spearman now coming out. These are veteran spearmen. These are not to be joked with. There we are. Knight does go down there. And Micro is great here for Eric. He's going to be keeping... Beastie on his toes, pulling him back and forth. Villagers again, heading over to the wood, but now protected by a batch of spearmen. And it feels now Eric won't be able to really take this effectively unless he splits them up on both sides of the wood line. But even then, there's a prelate there, there's spearmen, and uh, the spearmen, of course, being a direct counter to this. Like a massive charge attack there, at least two villagers going down. And uh, interesting to see if Eric goes to get some archers. He does get up to the castle age himself. Some archers here, full archers here, would work quite nicely for Eric, but he's going to be doubling down on the knights, it seems. Continues to produce from them, going for the knight upgrade now, and uh, veteran upgrade. Wallalo trying to protect those villagers there on that woodline. Now the walls are going to be going up here for Beastie, giving him some breathing space. A chance to develop his economy, but look at Eric's economy, it's going to be strong here. Beastie, 7 villagers for Beastie, 81 for Eric. Beastie not able to really capitalize on his imperial age all too well is struggling for the food count only 11 villagers on food so now he's actually sending so many villagers to wood look at that gold income not really able to spend it oh villagers on the wood line do go down on the left side eric keeping his army moving the mobility is fantastic again trying to siege down that gate needs to keep an eye on this don't want to be caught out by the spearmen the spearmen try and approach but the knights do get pulled away now look at the villagers on gold on wood rather 46 of them Beastie manages to get that wall on the south side there, but it's still open here on the west. And looking to try and siege down at that gate. Spearmen looking to do some damage. Villagers on the berries going down. Knights are running into them and are going to be looking to harass that woodland, but backs off. Again, it's just the idle time caused by this is incredible. 59 villagers, but so many of them idled. Eight at least. And 86 there for Eric. And uh, there are a couple of idled, despite not having much pressure on his base. The knights do pull back. Scout will be taken out by the uh, spearmen there. And again, stopping that food income. Takes another villager off on the berries. The wood income is looking very safe and secure. Beastie struggling on the wood, on the food rather. He's going to start plonking down a bunch of farms. He needs that. The spearmen numbers really starting to build up now. He's getting a bit of a better foothold in the game. Maybe able to boom back up here with the Path of Swabia. 62 villagers still versus 85. You can see the momentum that that Palace of Swabia gives. He's actually going to try and torch down that Palace of Swabia with the Knights. 15 minutes into the game and uh, Knights being pulled away here for Eric. This is a fascinating game. Eric's doing a great job, guys. Like, coming up against Holy Roman Empire, you are, he was for a very large periods of the game a Feudal Age army versus a, an Imperial Age uh, Beastie QT Holy Roman Empire. Now he does get himself up to the Castle Age, though. Eric he is in the Castle Age for quite some time. These Knights have been upgraded. Uh, let's just take a look. Oh, he doesn't want to take that fight. 
So let's back off there. Let's take a look at the blacksmith to see what is going on. Uh, where is the blacksmith? He's went up with the high trade house, by the way. That's important to note. Quite interesting. Didn't bother go for the relics. He knows that this isn't going to go for the late game. I suspect Eric realizes he needs to push. He needs to push hard. Got a lot of food and a decent amount of gold. Not really spending the food, though. Interesting to see. Spending the gold, that's for sure. Now, market goes down for BT. A bit to recalibrate his economy. Plenty of gold and wood. And now we see that outpost there offering a lot of protection. But there are knights still dancing around on the left side. We try to chase down with the spearman. Beastie Cutie getting a foothold back into the game. But 68 villagers versus 78. The village count starting to climb. We see that because of the dynamics of the game where Beastie's been able to stabilize. Just wonder whether Eric might be able to use his golden gate and sell a bunch of food for the gold. He does have nine tickets. Could be able to balance his economy nicely with that. I'm going to try and siege down this uh, gate here on the west side. Got a lot of knights. Does deny the walls there. Lots of spearmen though. Get the feeling some archers could be helpful here. That hasn't actually got any archer rangers, I don't believe. Oh, no, I take that back. He's starting to mass up archers now. Veteran archers. He's not giving his hand away. Now, this is really, really smart. So, Eric is not giving away his hand. He's not giving Beastie Cutie the signal that he's going to archers. Because as soon as he does that, Beastie Cutie will go straight into Man at Arms. And Man at Arms will absolutely shred those archers. So, he's going to build up a large number and then take a really cost effective fight, a big fight. You can take out those spears and the knights will be able to do a lot of work. And you can see the wood line is going to be very, very exposed. The archers just need to camp here. The archers need to camp on the other opposite, opposite side of the wood line. Deny that and that will become a problem. Knights are going to be gathering here. Could be sandwiched between two lines of spearmen. No, Eric, don't take that fight. He backs off. Does take a loss there with one of the knights. These knights are very weak in HP, but the, uh, spe the spearmen are going to be all tapped by some veteran archers there. Only three, but it needs a lot more here, Eric. And now Beastie will be aware of that. We might see the switch to Man at Arms because of that. It does have a bombard coming out. That's the power of the Imperial Age. Trying to siege down the gate. Knights get pulled back. The archer's going to kite the spearmen, that's for sure. Oh, now wow, that's a lot of archers coming now in another batch. Beastie won't be able to take a fight there. Knights and archers, the combination versus spears is very good for Eric. If he can get some village kills on the wood line as well, that'd be fantastic for him. Does he have vision of that? That's the key issue. Does he have vision of the woodline? He doesn't. He can't take the villages out because of that. If he could get a wooden fortress, that'd be very helpful. Does need to move that economy now, Beast. He's going to try and get another wall here. If he can get that wall, that'd be very good for him. Now, looking to siege down that gate. The archer's going to shoot the spearmen as they approach. Going to break through. Beastie's getting quite a bit of food and gold. I suspect he's moving into Man at Arms. Let's just double check and confirm that. He's not actually. He's going still full spearmen, veteran spearmen. That's rather interesting because the archers will certainly count them, counter that. There is a bombard there on the field now. The knights head back. The veteran archers don't mind taking the fight and slowly whittling down those spearmen numbers. A lot of attack move micro, as you can see. The knight numbers are still starting to climb up. The archers will do the work they need to, and then the knights will back them up. The spearmen numbers are starting to dwindle now. It has to be said, oh, it's going to be a bit open here. Overchop will be coming in soon. Lots of barracks there. Walling up here, BCQT. Keeping himself safe on the right side of the map. But the archers push in and the spearmen will be going down. This is a problem for Beastie. You feel like Beastie might be losing this game. He might be losing as the Holy Roman Empire, which is incredible. He's just gone full spearmen. He hasn't mixed any man at arms here. And Eric could be doing the unthinkable. Eric could be stopping the Holy Roman Empire, Fast Imperial. And with Beastie at the helm of that civilization, no less. On Ancient Spires, Eric... Pulling up a good fight here, getting the spearmen involved in the fight, making sure he takes them out with the archers. And the knights reign supreme now. They can do the job they need to. There's barely any spearmen on the field. No man at arms coming out for Beastie. And this is a struggle. He's just going full spearmen. But he can't cope because of the archers. And Beastie looking to be inundated. And he calls it the GG Eric slays Beastie's Holy Roman Empire. Eric did a fantastic job with Micro there. And he's shown us that it is not unstoppable. Even at the hands of Beastie, Eric has shown that maybe the Holy Roman Empire does have a chink in their armor. Maybe they can be beaten. Hope you guys enjoyed this casted game. And if you did, do give the video a thumbs up. Take care and see you next time.